What's up everyone, welcome back to another video and for today's detail we have a 2012 Camaro SS and it's only for an interior detail but don't worry because we have lots and lots of extractions to do since we have quite a few stains here so make sure to stay tuned in the entire video also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any content like this make sure to like it and leave a comment down below and now let's get detailing Okay, now as usual, and especially because this is a two-door car, we're going to take out the seats so we can do a better job on the carpet and overall have more space to work on. And then taking all the garbage and personal items out and of course, separating all their stuff so they can have it easier whenever getting everything back. And one of the reasons why I like to separate everything is because sometimes I might find items that they thought they had lost maybe under the seats, in between the seats, or just anywhere that you might not look when you're usually on your car. And it's just such an amazing feeling whenever they call you or text you thanking you for finding something that they thought they would never see again. And I've always said that the vacuuming process makes such a dramatic change because once you've done that, the vehicle completely looks way more cleaner. And this vacuum that I'm using here is a rigid four gallon portable vacuum and I've had such an amazing experience with it. Never had any problems and it has just the perfect amount of suction power. So if you guys want to go check it out, I have the links on the description and down below. Alrighty now moving on to cleaning all the interior panels I make sure to have my microfiber towel my all-purpose cleaner and of course my detailing brush so I can get into all those cracks and crevices
And as you guys can see, I had to use the steamer there because as always, we had that glued coin on the cup holders. So I had to get it unstuck and that was the only way to do it. And now cleaning the shifting knob and moving it back and front to completely clean everything is one of the things that you can't really miss because that's the first thing that the owner is going to move whenever they get into the car. And I know that at first glance you can't really tell just how dirty these seats are so that's why I decided to do only half so you guys could really tell and see the comparison. Alrighty, now we got to almost everyone's favorite part and like I said on the intro we have some really nasty nasty stains on this vehicle and I was actually using two solutions one diluted 20 to 1 and then for the more stubborn stains I was using 10 to 1.
And just so you guys know, I did not only make these two passes on this side, as I also used this steamer to get this carpet as clean as possible. And that was all the nasty water that came out only from those two sides.
And as you guys can see, using the steamer will really help you and get rid of all those stains quickly and easier. But of course, we're always going to have those kind of stains that are almost impossible to remove. And also depending on how long and what kind of stains they are. But as always, I try my best to do and get the best results I could. And now if you guys are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to smash the like button. Alright and after all that extracting it's now time to protect all the interior from the UV rays and also have it looking almost like new again.
and just as I protected the whole interior panels, I also need to condition the leather seats and protecting them from the UV rays, avoiding any cracks or fading over the time. And as the last step, we can't forget about cleaning all the windows using invisible glass. But just like that, we've reached the end of this video and I just want to thank every single one of you guys for supporting the channel and leaving all those nice comments as we've reached 4,000 subscribers and I can't wait to go farther along with you guys. So let's keep it going and I'll see you guys on the next one.